Black Economy Excellence is proud to announce the establishment of the Global Center for Diversity and Inclusion. Now more than ever, corporations, nonprofits, and governmental entities recognize the urgent call for a better world, where equality and equity aren't just theories we discuss, but practices embraced throughout organizations from top to bottom. As a premier center for diversity and inclusion, our mission is to provide the tools, training, and knowledge that will empower organizations through webinars, research, conventions, publications, and networking to achieve their diversity and inclusion goals. As part of the B Initiative's Corporate Partners for B program, we invite you to take an active role as a corporate partner or sponsor to contribute to the success of our mission. Help us to keep momentum going as we strive to bring this critical change to the world with a solution that we can all be a part of. Join us. It's time to turn good words into powerful actions that reflect this unifying goal. Become a part of the Global Center for Diversity and Inclusion today. Hello everyone and good afternoon and thank you for joining us. My name is Wasan Yerdal. I am the director of Global Center for Diversity and Inclusion under the Black Economy Excellence. Black Economy Excellence is a company <clears throat> that initiates Purpose Black, a new e-commerce platform to fulfill one of its biggest targets with the aim of creating 1 million Black millionaires in the next 10 years. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to this weekly webinar that is organized by our department on the topic, Potential Tech Areas to Succeed. For those of you who want to watch our previous webinars, you can get them on our YouTube channel named Black Economy Excellence. If you like us, Please subscribe and share to others. Today, we have invited a special trainer for uh, today, Mr. Yosef Kasai. Just on housekeeping before we get started, if you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the question box in the Zoom control panel. I will bring them up during the presentation and we will have time for the answers at the end. I am also privileged to announce that Dr. Fasaha Abtemariam, our CEO, is here with us today. Just a to mention a few things about him, the Black Economy Excellence Initiative founder and CEO, Dr. Fasaha Abtemariam, is a passionate educator, social entrepreneur, civil rights advocate, and researcher with 25 plus years of distinguished academics and business careers. He is well known for creating numerous businesses that have a profound social and economic impact. Dr. Fassa founded the first and largest prestigious accredited private university named Unity in Ethiopia. At a speak, Unity University offered education service to more than 12,000 students. Because of his strong belief in economic and social impact of education, he launched the Girls Education Project and personally gave free scholarship to more than 5,000 girls from economically disadvantaged families. Thank you for your presence, Doctor. Now, let me direct you to our today's presenter, Mr. Yosef Kasai. With his more than 15 years of extensive experience in developing enterprise level applications, he is a passionate trainer who have prepared more than 3000 courses, course videos in 27 courses. He has got two master degrees and he is a Microsoft certified professional and certified Scrum master. We are very eager to hear what he is prepared for today. So I now let, the, uh, let him take the floor. Mr. Yosef. Okay, let me share my screen. Do you see my screen? Yes. 
Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Wilson, for introduce, uh, for your uh, generous introduction. Um, my name is Yosef Adunia Kastai. Uh, as Mr. Mayor Wilson mentioned, I'm a solution architect and uh, Scrum certified, uh, Microsoft certified professional and certified Scrum master. Uh, I owned the IOB IT solution. Um, uh, I, I published uh, more than 3,000 videos in different courses. Uh, having this much about myself, uh, the uh, areas, I mean, the topics that I will uh, focus by today is about potential tech areas for success. Uh, there are uh, many areas that we don't know which area we should go through to, uh, but uh, I will uh, mention as much as uh, I can what are the, post the potential areas that we can be successful because uh, our problem is knowing which area fits uh, our, 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 with, with our background and also with our interest. So I'll try to cover that. Uh, the ideas that I will uh, cover today are trends of technology and the opportunities uh, where the technology is heading to. And the second one is the current demand and future prospect of the technology, especially uh, information communication technology uh, and uh, particularly computer science. And the other one is potential tech areas, uh, which what are the potential tech areas that you guys can be involved in? And I will try to uh, explain about that. And then uh, how tech fits with your background. Uh, you might have a background in business, healthcare, or it, it might be a different field, field of study, how the technology, computer science can fit with your uh, background. I'll try to cover that one. And then um, the future challenges, if we, can, if, if we cannot cope up with the current trend, uh, what are the future challenges? And I'll explain to you about that. And I will have a conclusion remarks. And uh, at the end, uh, the, uh, the session will be open for you for Q&A. Uh, when, I, when I come to the uh, first point, uh, the, uh, right now, the technology is heading to the cloud. What does it mean? Uh, you see all the time, uh, when you want to buy a computer and install software, it might take about a day or two. Sometimes it might be taking a week if you order online. Uh, but right now, uh, with the introduction of cl cloud computing, uh, you can uh, run a virtual machine. That means your machine, but it is virtually in the cloud uh, within a matter of uh, minutes, sometimes seconds. Uh, so it means uh, when you are doing that, uh, there are potential areas that you can be involved. Uh, companies that they are uh, launching this cloud co the technology, it can be Microsoft, Amazon, Google, or other uh, cloud serving uh, organizations are looking technology specialists in the area of uh, cloud computing. So cloud computing is one of the biggest area and I prepared actually and launched uh, many uh, cloud computing courses. You can go there and then uh, and see how the potential areas are there. But in the, in the, in the, at the end of this session, I will also explain what are the potential cloud computing areas that you can be involved in. The other one, the other area that is uh, growing very fast is extended reality. As you know, virtual reality means uh, is mimicking the real world and then extended reality is uh, linking between the virtual reality and the actual and augmenting these two realities. And that is called uh, extended reality. In this area, subject, they need, they are looking for subject specialists. They are looking the data analyst, the data modeler, and the, the person who is model, modeling data. There are many areas, many, many potential areas in the areas of extended reality. The other one is internet of things. Uh, it means uh, connecting different components of technology together to fetch important information. And that is uh, technically called Internet of Things. In this area, many companies are looking uh, experts to connect the different parts of the uh, uh, technology. The other one is the uh, design, the UI UX designer. Uh, they are looking uh, the UI UX designer. This is one of the potential area that the companies are looking for. For example, wherever you have any data at the back, there should be a user interface that users can interact. So that is a potential area that, that is growing very fast. Mobile development is also another one uh, by which you can render your application uh, using a mobile device. And the other one is uh, the most important one that is growing right now is the blockchain. That means without having a physical banking, you can, in, you can exchange money or you can do transaction using blockchain technology. Uh, companies are looking and then I, I already have the uh, slide at the end and I will explain to you about that one and quantum computing, robotics, product management, all these are potential areas that you can be involved with. Uh, customer relationship management using Salesforce or any other customer relationship management. This is also another big potential area that you can be involved with. And then that is also growing. 
data management is also another one. Data management means the most important uh, thing in, uh, right now in this world is uh, data. So managing that data um, is also another biggest area that uh, companies are looking for. Programming language, that means they are looking programmers to uh, write codes and edge computing. This is also a very important concept that we need to understand. Right now, the data is somewhere else and the users are somewhere else. There is disconnection, actually up to now, there was disconnection between where the data is resides and where the users are. But right now, what the companies are doing is that connecting these two parties together. That means the data is there and then the user are there. So users can easily consume that data. That is edge computing, it has its own subfields that you can, you can be benefited. 5G is also another one. I, I, I already mentioned last week about 5G. And then cybersecurity is also another one. And then you, right now, the banking system, the healthcare system are looking people to secure their system. Otherwise they are losing money. So cybersecurity is another potential area that is uh, growing very fast. Business intelligence service. This is also another one. That means you have a data and then you have to render that data to the user. So as to render that data using different technologies, it can be in re using reporting service or integration service, or you can use any modeling tool like Power BI or Tableau that you can uh, perform that. That's also another potential area. And DevOps is also another potential area. Uh, actually, when you are connecting uh, these things, let me let me just draw and then you can uh, easily uh, understand how, how this is working. So that way you can uh, easily understand. For example, you uh, as I mentioned earlier, you have, uh, okay, let me see where my pen is. Okay, maybe my pen is not working right there. Okay, let me just bring this one. Okay, uh, as you can see here, um, you might have the application that is developed. That, that application has data at the back. And then once this application is developed, it should be uh, developed and rendered and deployed to the user to be used by the public. So they need a person that can receive this code from the developer and then deploy into the uh, production server. That is the technology and that is the area that you can grow. That is technically called DevOps. DevOps means the interaction between developers and operation team. So that's also another biggest area that you can be involved with. It doesn't need any uh, uh, th that much technical uh, knowledge, but I will explain to you later on uh, uh, as well. Right now I'm explaining to you that how the trend and the opportunities are growing in the areas of technology. The other one is help desk and desktop support. As I told you earlier, once the application is de deployed, they need to support the uh, customers. The, for example, the live application may be, may be out or they might be first. That can be live desk and desktop support. This is also another area that you can, you can, you can be engaged. The other one is data science, analyzing data and developing, taking out that data, processing that data, generating information, and then bringing knowledge to the users. That's also another biggest area that you can be involved with. When you do that, you might have artificial intelligence. That means mimicking real world or human being, and then I'm making the machine to act as human being. That is artificial intelligence. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. I mentioned last week, and natural language processing, electronic commerce. These are the uh, potential areas that companies are looking. And these are the areas that they are growing really, really very fast. Now, uh, when you see at the glance, the uh, salary um, and the uh, payment uh, uh, trend right now is like this. For example, as you can see, the 25th percentile of the, the, uh, the per percentile for artificial intelligent architect is $120,000. Uh, and it's growing up to $200,000. And then cloud architect and data science, as you can see here, uh, the, the uh, payment or the salary is really uh, very attractive, but there are challenges when you, when you are thinking about the salary. So uh, most people, uh, after, after they see this, okay, they are so impressed and they are interested, but they have their question. And then I'll try to cover uh, most of the, these questions. The first one is, how can I achieve my dream? What is the shortest path to get this, this job? For example, oh, you know what? I want to be a developer. So what is the shortest path to be a developer? The second one that we need to answer is where to start to learn computer science. What do I need to learn? What knowledge do I need to learn computer science? What technology fits me? For example, if somebody is, is, is coming from the social science field, uh, that person uh, can fit with data science or database. So 
it is based on your experience, but I will explain to you what technology fits me. And then this, the other one is how long it will take. This is our, these are most of the, the, the questions that this is the mostly asked by the people. Okay, you know what? I, I wanted to get job right now, uh, but how long it will take if, if, if I, I, I start this job? That's also another potential uh, question and I'll try to cover. How can I start searching the job? How long it will take to learn and get job? how to work with no or little world experience. What are the practical real life challenges if I go there and then start the job? This is also another one. What will be my first day challenge? And then, uh, and opportunities as well. And then how real life infrastructure is set up? These are the questions that is asked after you see this impressive, the uh, uh, salary also, and also the technology opportunities. So I'll cover uh, most of them. So the first one is how can I achieve my dream? And then when, uh, when this question comes to your mind, the first thing that you should uh, ask yourself is, uh, what is your dream? You have to know why, why, why you are dreaming about this technology. Is that to get money? Or is that to, get, to learn new things? Or is that to be wanted? Or is that to get a job? Or to do your own business? Or to be challenging? Or to solve a problem? Some people, they are learning technology to get money. If that is so, you have to first understand that, okay, if to get money, it's and that circle would like to know new things. So you have to know first what your dream is about. And then once you answer that one, then you will think about how to achieve, how can I achieve all these my dreams? For example, oh, you know what? I wanted to get money. So the first thing that you should do is you have to listen yourself, okay? Uh, the second one is you have to be persistent. And we jump to the other, the other uh, uh, component, we cannot be successful. As I mentioned in, in, in every, every day, for example, if I wanted to uh, drive from here to San Diego, uh, I live in Los Angeles, but the areas need, I have to cross all of them. So, so as to reach right here, I have to pass all these challenges and then I can arrive in San, at San Diego. So you have to be persistent enough to achieve your goal. The second, the third one is you have to set priorities. Uh, our problem is we like to learn everything. As I mentioned to you, the, the area is really too complex and too many. And then you have to prioritize your, your, your um, uh, tasks and your goals. The other one is you have to choose a role model. There are people that you can pick and then based on their way, you can follow that and then you can, you can achieve your goal. The other one is you have to learn different technologies. Start small and grow fast. And don't start everything at once. Start from one thing to fast. The other one is you have, to, you have to have a dedication and then you have to have dedicated time for your passion. Uh, our problem is we like to get money. We like to learn new things. We wanted to be wanted. We wanted to get job. We wanted to achieve our dream. We wanted to open our, our new business or sometimes we wanted to be challenging, but uh, we don't have a dedicated time uh, to achieve this passion. So the dedication and dedicated time to achieve our passion uh, are the most important thing. So you have to have a dedicated time to uh, achieve your goal. The other one is talk to others with similar goals. Grab friends and then Talk to them about what are the challenges, what are the, the opportunities, what is the shortest path to achieve uh, to my goal, and then to get a job or uh, to open my own business. And don't stop trying. That's also another one. Uh, our problem is we start trying, and then we see the challenge, we stop. But anyways, actually, I, 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 there is one show that Steve, Steve Harvey uh, posted uh, in his uh, YouTube channel. Uh, it's called uh, Jump. Unless you jump, the passion will be gone. So make sure to jump and start trying, and then don't stop trying. Uh, that's also another point. And don't be afraid. Uh, the technology seems really very, very uh, huge. And as you can see, uh, there are many areas. Uh, and then it's really very scary when you are thinking about it. But you have to start and then learn. And then, as I mentioned to you, start small and then grow fast. The other one is learn it, even if it is from zero. That's also very important, okay? Unless you start your journey, you cannot uh, 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 achieve your goal and then reach into uh, success. So these are the most important thing. So when you have uh, the uh, uh, thinking about, okay, what do I need to learn? 
how can I achieve my dream? Make sure first to answer what are your dreams and then make sure to follow these points and maybe uh, you can add uh, more uh, by yourself. The other one is where to start learning computer science. That is really the uh, most, the very important question and most people ask this. Okay, what are, where should I start? I, I wanted to learn computer science and I don't know where should I start. This is based on your computer knowledge. Do you have any computer knowledge? Okay, this, this depends on whether you don't have any computer knowledge at all or with good understanding of computer uh, knowledge or you might have a previous experience. Whether you have or not have any computer knowledge previously, computer science is really uh, very easy to start with. For example, if you don't have any knowledge, you can start from zero and then you can start your gear and then you can, you can start learning fast. If you have a previous background, uh, you can add more and then you can pile it up and then you can get the job. As you can see here, the salary is different based on the experiences of the people. As you can see, for example, right here, the, the salary in here is 60,000. It's about $70,000 per year. And then there are also help desk supports. They get uh, 50 to $60,000. It's not really uh, small, but you have to start from small and then you can grow. So you can be a help desk uh, professional and then you can grow. And then companies are looking, when you are growing yourself, companies are picking you up to the next level. So that's really very important. Whether you have a knowledge or not, or whether you have good understanding of computer or not, whether you have previous experience or not, uh, the computer science field is open for you uh, to start up with. And then I'll explain to you which areas are your, your uh, background. The other one, uh, that the other question, and then the first one is you need to have a master plan. You need to have a computer. Make sure to invest in it to repair. Make sure to have internet. Don't just purchase computer just for sake of purchasing. Make sure to purchase a computer. To acquire a computer, one is you need to have time. That's the most important thing. People buy a computer, but they are not using. They are not dedicating their time to use a computer. So if you want to be a successful computer professional, make sure to have a computer, make sure to have technology and make sure to have time. The other one is space. Make sure to have space for, for that. Uh, in our home, we have too many spaces for the things that we are not using that much, but we have a little bit of computer and related technologies. So make sure to have space, make sure to have dedication. You have to be dedicated to learn a technology. Uh, it's not uh, the, the not only computer science for that matter. Any field needs dedication. So computer science is not different. So make sure to have, have your own personal library. As I'm sure to document everything and develop a library, personal library for by yourself. It's not just buying a physical book, but for example, taking notes and then sending it to your computer. And then later on, when you want to remember, you can go there and then access. So that's a part of the library concept. So the other one is, what knowledge do I need to learn computer science? These are the questions that I need. Okay. I'm interested. I'm tired of doing small things. I'm getting money. I wanted to open my own business and I want to be challenging, but I wanted to learn uh, computer science. What knowledge do I need? The first one is you need to have at least when you are, this one is related, by the way. Uh, some people are really very genius and they have uh, complex analytical skills. Uh, that, it, it doesn't mean that, but analytical skill means when you are using, when you are learning computer science, you are solving problems. So as to solve the problems, you have to know how you can analyze problems. Okay, that's uh, the analytical skill. I can give you a good example for this one. If, if somebody wanted to open a business, that person <clears throat> need to, uh, uh, to, to understand what are the uh, uh, requirements that I need. Okay, what, uh, uh, what will be the license? What materials do I need? These are the analytical skills. The same is true when you come to computer, so you need to have analytical skill. The other one is problem solving skill. In computer science, they need you to solve problems in a short path, instead of just taking too many paths to solve a problem. As I mentioned to you, for example, uh, if I wanted to drive from here uh, to uh, San Diego, there are areas. I can go this way 
and then uh, reach to San Diego. I can go this way and reach to San Diego. And then I can go this way and reach San Diego from Los Angeles. They, in, in computer science uh, paradigm, they want to know, they want to uh, uh, have the shortest path with a minimal, minimal cost. So as to uh, find out which one is the shortest path with a minimal cost, uh, you need to have uh, the uh, problem solving skill. So that's also another one. You need to have a creativity skill. As I mentioned to you, one of the areas that are that is potentially growing is UI UX. UI means user interface, user interface design. Uh, for that, they do have a creativity. So if they have uh, the uh, design concept, if you are really smart enough to design, uh, that is also the biggest area. That that's the area that you can uh, go with. The other one is critical thinking. Critical thinking. That means, for example, when I come here and then going this way, this might be shorter, but the traffic might be really very heavy. So it, this this path might take longer than the path from here to here. So you have to have critical thinking skill. So solving the problem by minimizing the cost, by minimizing the time, and also by avoiding the risk. So this is also one part of the uh, computer, uh, the, the, the knowledge area that you need to have. Any human being has this, any human being. The, even kids have analytical skill. Once you teach them how to solve a problem, they can solve the same problem in the same way. That is analytical skill. They have a problem solving skill. For example, if you show a four years old uh, how to add two numbers, and then next time, maybe after a year, he can learn by himself how to solve how to uh, add three numbers. So that's problem solving skill. Creating is the key ones growth and the creating and solving problems in the shortest path. So that's also another one, critical thinking, as I mentioned, and self-reliance, self-assurance. Language, in computer science, you need to have good communication skill. So that's also another one. It's not knowing English that well, but uh, communicating with the team in a way that team can understand. The other one is understanding the logic. The logic, the, actually, this one is not really complex. For example, if I say uh, we will eat lunch uh, when Mr. A and Mr. B are coming, uh, if I say or, I mean, with Mr. A or whatever, if I change this by end, that means Mr. A and Mr. B should come so as to eat our lunch. So this is a business logic. So you, you need to have uh, the good understanding of the knowledge. The other one is attention to detail. That is the part that we miss. Whenever somebody give you any, any problem, make sure to uh, solve that problem. The other one is recognition of stupidity. As you know, computer is stupid because whatever you give the, to the computer, it will provide you the output the same way that you gave. There is a jargon and when you input jargon, You'll, you'll get the uh, jargon out. So uh, the, uh, make sure to understand that the computer will not do for you, but you will make the computer to do uh, smarter. So that's uh, the uh, recognition of stupidity. The other one is patient. Uh, our problem is to get the, 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 the job immediately by tomorrow. Uh, don't, don't expect that. What you should do, you have to have a patient, make sure that there are hurdles when you are uh, going from zero to one, and then make sure to be persistent and to have a passion to pass every hurdle so as to reach your goal. So this is also the most important thing. So the knowledge that you need to have is analytical skill, problem solving skill, creativity, critical thinking, self reliance, language, logic, attention to the The other area, the, the, the other question that people are asking is that, okay, what technology fits me? Good, I have all this. And then what are the technologies that fit you? There are many technology areas that, that, that you can be involved with. I already uh, prepared uh, 20 lists of 20, 20 different areas that you can involve, and I'll come to that point. But uh, the, uh, again, this is based on your uh, previous background, based on your interest, based on the market, and based on future prospects. Uh, I mentioned some of them, right? Uh, as I mentioned to you, uh, any application needs to be deployed, so they, need, they are looking for DevOps. DevOps means the area that they don't need uh, too much, too much uh, the technological skill, but they need to have that person to take the code and then deploy. Analytics is also another one. Whenever there is a need for a company to develop an application, the, this person will communicate with the user and then bring the problem, analyze it, define the requirement, and give to developer. So there are 
So that means first the problem is identified and then the requirements are defined, given to the developer. So, so as to identify and define the requirement, we need an analyst. And then so as to develop an application, we need a developer. And then so as to uh, manage this uh, code, we need administrator. And then so as to check whether this application is working or not, we need to have the testing. And then so as to check whether this project is successfully done, we need to have a manager. So these are the potential areas that you can be involved in whether you have a good background in technology or not. So these are some of the potential areas, but the technology that fits matter based on your previous background, your interest. And some people want to be really creative so they can be going to uh, development. Some people man, want to gather a problem and define a requirement. So they can be involved in analytics. And then some people might need, okay, you know what, based on the market, which area is important? Data science, data development, yes, it can be more. Artificial intelligence, machine learning are the potential areas that we can be involved with. So the uh, technology uh, matters based on these parameters and more, many more. And then, as I mentioned to you, uh, uh, there are areas, I'm not focusing on hardware, but the uh, areas in the software environment are this analytics. Development, administration, testing, management, DevOps, and infrastructure management. Okay, might have too many computers and they want to manage and they want to make it communicate. One one machine should communicate to the other one. And then that's the area that I mentioned to you formation of things. And then as I mentioned to you earlier, and let me just go back here and then let me um, select this one. Here we go. Okay, let me go back to uh, here. So can God, let me go back again. Sorry. Okay, right there. Okay, uh, I prepared for you guys a list of uh, the technological areas that you can be involved in. And then there are about 20 uh, different areas uh, that I mentioned. It is actually in my, in my website. Uh, there are big data areas, data science area, information system security, data architecture, data security, application architecture, data management, all these are different areas that you can be involved. And some of them are complex. Some of them needs uh, at least a bachelor degree. For example, software engineering needs a batch, at least a bachelor degree. As you can see here, uh, so as to have the uh, software engineering, you need to have at least a bachelor degree. That's the requirement. But most of the technology areas that are mentioned in here, they don't need any background, I mean, any uh, uh, educational background. So these are the areas. And there is also another uh, another another uh, area that is actually prepared by somebody else. Uh, they, they prepare in here based on their salary. As you can see, a software developer can get about $162,000. And then you can see the uh, high uh, job percentage. And then you can go through and then you can uh, assess this. Actually, there are about two pages or three pages of uh, related technologies. So these are really very good areas. As you can see here, the smallest area that you can, the, the, the smallest amount that you are getting is about $50,000 per year. And then computer help, help desk. So these are the areas that you can be involved in. Uh, and I you, these are four areas. And I'll explain you how it will take, and then which area fits to uh, which uh, field. And then after that, uh, we'll go to the next step, uh, uh, and then uh, we'll finalize our, our presentation. The first one is a front end. As I mentioned to you, uh, any application has three, at least three layers. Uh, the, the first layer is the user interface layer that user can interact. For example, if I develop application to Mr. X, Mr. X needs to communicate to this application. And then the uh, interaction between this application and Mr. X can be achieved by using a UI or user interface. And then this UI communicates to the uh, actual business to the uh, interface. And the middle layer, that middle layer is a programming layer. So the, when we come to the first one, developing this user interface is called front end or UX development. This is for those who are interested in design, in development, in architecture, uh, in, in making things very beautiful. For example, there are designers that are interested to design the front end. So this is a potential area for you guys to be involved in. The UI or the UX might be uh, different from mobile to web uh, to Windows, but the, the technique, the principle is the same. So 
front end design is the area. And then it might take about two to three months to finish the, the entire course. Within two to three months, you can be a UI UX developer and the average salary for that is about 60 to $70,000 per year. The other one is mobile or web development. This one is actually the uh, mobile web development and embedded technology for that. Matter. There are technologies that you can develop. For example, uh, when you drive or when you are backing up, you, you see the, the, the camera is on in your car. So uh, this one is the middle tier technology that you can be involved with. In. And then there are web the, uh, framework, mobile framework. So it might take about uh, three to six months to complete and the salary uh, is really very attractive. It's about uh, 100 to, to uh, 150,000 dollars. The other one is backend development. Backend development means database development. And then the dat this database development, as I mentioned to you, this is the second one. And the backend development means uh, developing a database, uh, developing, administering the database and developing the model, the data model. For example, uh, if you have millions of records, how can the one record is related to another record and how can I model? This is also the area that attracts most of the people. And then the salary is very attractive. And this is called backend development. And you need to have a database uh, knowledge. So this might take about three to six months. And the salary is really very attractive, is about $100,000 plus. The other one is QA. Once this application is developed, whether the front end, or the middle, or the back end, you need to test, to test the test. These testers are technically called QA or quality assurance. So QA testers, automation engineers, QA analysts, this, their salary is attractive, is about $85,000 and above. So it might take about two, three months or four months maximum to learn about this QA. You don't need to go to college. You need to just learn it by yourself or you can uh, take short course and then you can apply. It doesn't require a bachelor degree, uh, but having uh, the, the a bachelor degree will, uh, will be a plus. The other one is, this application is developed, and then Mr. X. So as to do that, we needed to have a DevOps engineer. So either a cloud engineer, that means Azure or web, um, Azure web, uh, Amazon web service or Azure, or it can be into the, the Google uh, cloud. And then we need to have release engineer, Azure DevOps engineer, Amazon web service DevOps engineer. This is the hardest job that you can do. This is very interesting that you can be successful. And then uh, this uh, course, the course by itself might take about four to five months. Imagine four to five months is not years, okay? And then you can get this job and the salary is very attractive, 100 plus. The other one is cloud engineer, big data, data scientist, uh, DevOps engineer as well in here, security engineer, data architect. This one is a little bit tough, uh, but once you get that, uh, that the, once you finish this, the salary is really very attractive. It's about 120 and above. As I mentioned to you earlier in here, the, the, the chart that I brought in here is from online and it is also available in many uh, other companies. So the, as you can see here, the data analyst, data scientist, and then the engineers are on-prem, but this one is the cloud. You see the cloud, the, the, the salary that is over here is really very attractive. The uh, technology to learn the technology will not take more than uh, uh, five to six months, and then you can be a uh, cloud engineer or a year. Uh, for that matter, if you are really very strong, you can minimize the amount of time. Actually, the amount of time is dependent on the amount of time that you have, the dedication you have, and then also the resources that you have. The other one is customer relationship management, Salesforce engineer, Dynamics, SAP. All these are the areas that are really looking. And then this one might take about uh, uh, three, four to five months to learn and to prepare your resume and to uh, make yourself available to the market and the salary is very attractive. Content management is also another one. If you wanted to just develop a, a site without knowing a technology, so like WordPress developer, Adobe Experience Manager, Drupal, and SharePoint engineer. So these are really very attractive area. And then it might take about uh, six months to uh, nine months and then you can capture. And then the other one is analyst. As I mentioned to you, okay, Mr. X wanted to uh, have application. So there should be a person that should communicate this Mr. X uh, but so as to define the requirements, define the uh, needs, and then make the uh, bridge between the developers and the uh, user, uh, that uh, that person is an analyst or BSA or Scrum Master. Uh, this one is really very good for those who do, who do not have any technology background. 
you can learn, you can work, and then you can uh, be uh, successful. So this the salary is about eighty five thousand uh, up to ninety thousand dollars per year, and then the uh, job is not really as challenging as the uh, developers, cloud engineers, and middle tier and back end developers. And this one is a really very good area, but you need to have good communication skills because you need to create a, a bridge between the, the end user and also the developers. The other one is tech support. Okay, this application is developed uh, by developers and tested by the QA and deployed by the DevOps. And then once Mr. X starts using it, this person might have a problem. And then the first one, he, he might not know uh, how to use it. So as to uh, create the bridge between uh, the, the, that to, to uh, remove that gap, we need to have a tech support or this person might have a problem. For example, when this person is using the uh, system, the system might crash. So it should be reported that you can be done by tech support. So you can be a support internal and external users, ICT maintenance engineer. This one is a really good, uh, good area, but the uh, payment is not that attractive. It is about $50,000 uh, up to $60,000. The other one is production support. The, there is actually the uh, linkage between these two. Uh, the tech support can be a production support. And then the production support is basically supporting production uh, development. So these are the areas that, that you can be going through. And there are many, as I mentioned to you, there are about 20 different areas uh, in, the, in the areas of technology. Uh, over here, there are about 28 areas. I mentioned to you guys over here about 20 different areas that you can be involved with. But they are categorized in this in this stream. So uh, these are the core areas that you can be involved with, whether you have a good background in technology or not. Uh, how long it will take? This is based on the areas, as I mentioned to you, and based on your time and the dedication. Uh, if you dedicate it, and the amount of time that 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 will take will be really reduced too much. And based on your background, if you know a little bit of database management system, so DBA will take less time. So this is based on your background, the time, dedication, and also the areas. The other one is, how can I start searching a job? Okay, now, this is good. I, I talked about uh, the months, and now I on a front end or database, or might be a QA. So how can I uh, start searching jobs? The first one is, um, to search a job, you have to take first the training. As I mentioned to you, you, you already train yourself. And then you have to take tests. There are online tests, online exams, online certificates, and then you have to prepare your resume. Uh, when you are preparing your resume, make sure to do a project, and then you can include that project into your resume. And then post job in your, your, your resume into your job portals. There are many job portals, DICE, Monster, ZipRecruiter, Indeed, LinkedIn. These are the uh, uh, jobbing portals that you can, you can use, and then recruiters will reach you because the demand of technology professionals and the supply is really, really, uh, unbalanced. So right now the demand is growing. So you can you can get job in in in, in few, a few uh, days. Uh, how long to take uh, to learn and get a job? As I mentioned to you, uh, first uh, you have to do what the thing that you have to resume and do uh, the first you have to re re evaluate your resume by yourself and post your resume. There will, there will be a phone interview. And they might be uh, in-person or coding interview. Uh, most companies are giving in-person and uh, coding interview, but, but right now, uh, because of this uh, pandemic, uh, in-person interviews are really reduced. They might, there might be a Zoom uh, interview, and then they will extend offer, and then the first day will come, first day and first week, and after that, a month. Now the question is, oh, how to work with no or little knowledge, and then the <laughs> literally real world experience. How can I start? So. As I mentioned to you, the, the projects are really big. The environments are really uh, clustered. As I mentioned to you, there are environments for developers, for the testers, the UAT or user acceptance testers and production support. These are actually the areas that are, uh, that are in, in any company. And then the teams are structured very well in most of the companies. There are development team, VSA, QA, UAT, as I mentioned to you, there are environments, redundant environment, and then development approach is uh, different, agile scrum methodology. Actually, when we have time in the future, I will explain to you about agile, agility and scrum uh, development. And then uh, the uh, development environment is also there. But when you see this, don't be afraid because this is simply a collection of computers. For example, when you are thinking about development environment is nothing but having different computers that developers can use. And then 
They are thinking about deterrent. Okay, but it's not about uh, the machines that quality assurance or tech supports are using. And then the UAT environment, that means users, uh, user acceptance phase, they are doing using computer. So when you are thinking about the technology environment, the real world environment, there is nothing but is a collection of computers. So make sure to uh, understand that uh, going to the uh, uh, environment and starting a job is not really uh, that confusing. So uh, the, the uh, first day, uh, don't be confused when you are hired and don't be excited too much. Take time to know where to start. Most of the people, they jump and they start working. No, don't do that. First, you have to know where to start, which area you should prioritize when you are uh, getting the job. And then be confident when you introduce yourself, can prepare to talk about the company, listen and ask questions, focus and achieve uh, some small wins. And after that, uh, the first day will be uh, impressed and then actually impact the, uh, your, your life in the future. So the courses that uh, we, the IOB offer, and also for that matter, any other companies are offering these courses. So you can take some of these courses. Uh, as I, I, I mentioned earlier, I published more than 3000 videos in these areas. And then also there are uh, free YouTube uh, channels uh, that I have uh, under YIOB. And also there are many, many uh, genius and generous people. They provided uh, trainings for free. So you can go in the car and catch them. Uh, once you start learning on that, then uh, you can be uh, successful. Uh, these are the, some of the references I will share with you guys, and then you can get it. And then uh, if you have any uh, question uh, or suggestion, uh, you can ask. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Have a couple of them. Um, the first one is, what field is better for those of us who come from accounting background? Good. Uh, actually, um, accounting, the, the first thing that you should understand is uh, which area accounting is. Uh, accounting is social science field, uh, even if it has mathematics. And then accounting uh, might go with management uh, or economics and accounting itself. Uh, so for that, uh, database, data science, uh, data modeling are the best areas uh, because most companies that are doing any financial uh, management system they are collecting data and they need to analyze that data and model that data. So that's the, that's the most important thing. So again, for accountant, uh, it might be the uh, database, data science, uh, data modeling, data architect, uh, data analyst. These are the fields that uh, you can be uh, successful in that area. As I mentioned to you, uh, I think I stopped my sharing my screen. Let me start, share it again. And then as you can see here, uh, the, the first area, so you see data architect, and then data security, uh, when you come here, data science, big data engineer, these are the potential areas for accounting and related, uh, related fields. So uh, uh, for accounting, data science, database, data modeling are uh, the areas that are recommended. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Yosef. The other one is, what are the specific challenge of short-term trainings in terms of getting job and be competitive in comparison to degrees? Brilliant, okay. Uh, this the, the main challenge behind uh, the um, uh, taking a short-term training and then going to job market is that experience. Uh, that's actually uh, where I wanted to emphasize for black economy excellence. Uh, the uh, minority people, especially uh, black uh, people, they, 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 they took the training, but they don't have experience. Unless they have experience, they cannot get a job. So there should be uh, companies that they are giving um, the uh, spaces for them to come in and then uh, train. Uh, so that's the first challenge. Uh, uh, unless they have that experience, they cannot uh, prepare their resume. And then unless they prepare their resume, they cannot post into the job portal. Unless they can post into the job portal, they cannot get a job. So uh, the experience is the first one. So how can you solve that problem? The first one is black economy excellence can be uh, a part of this, this mission. So as to get people to be involved, to develop their uh, application and they can submit this application to you guys. And then that's also the, the first one. The second one is um, develop projects by yourself, especially students and make sure to develop application by yourself. And then 
you can uh, put that into your resume and then you can reference to the companies that you work with, for example, to the any training centers that you work with. So that's how, uh, how, how you can solve this problem and the challenges are experienced. Uh, okay, uh, this, um, uh, for the time being, uh, can you please share us uh, the reference, uh, Mr. Yosef, that you mentioned? Yes. And uh, of course, everyone, uh, you can get this, uh, the whole video on our YouTube channel. So you can get it, uh, you can see it again and again if you like. So you can get it at the, there. Um, let me see if we got another question. Uh, there is an interesting question. Is there, is that possible to get a job with only short-term courses with zero experience? Yeah, there are witnesses actually. Um, uh, uh, for example, uh, as I mentioned to you guys, um, uh, um, I, the technology by itself is not requiring the educational background. And then also uh, it, it needs hands-on experience. That's the ex that's the, the, the main uh, focus for technology. Uh, so there are witnesses. Uh, for example, there are students that they took courses from me and they, they got job, not only from me, but also from other training centers. So uh, it's possible. Uh, uh, but as I mentioned to you, make sure to dedicate time, make sure to have space, make sure to have uh, resources uh, to support you. So once you have dedication, you can be successful. Uh, the other problems that we have is, okay, when we are defining, for example, when we are learning any technology, most of us are focusing only getting a job. Why don't you be an entrepreneur? Why don't you open your own business by learning technology? You can be successful. Even will be more successful than those who get job and then hire. So that's uh, my, 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 my point. And don't be afraid for the technology. The technology is, seems complex, but <laughs> it's not as complex as we thought. Um, the other one is, what do you advise for those people? They only see money who jump to different short-term training time to time. <laughs> if it didn't work, how can they handle themselves? Good, yeah. Actually, um, that's the problem of every everyone, including me. Um, when there is uh, any impressive technology, we jump in there, but we didn't finish, and then we can uh, go to the other place. Uh, for those who are uh, from Ethiopia, I'm not actually. I think most of them are from there. Uh, you know uh, how you can uh, drive from Addis to Nazareth. So, as to drive from Addis to Nazareth, you have to pass uh, Mojo. I mean, what's called the, uh, the, the there are there are Tebrazet as an example. So as to drive from Addis to Nazareth, there is a, a the, the place where the, the, the place that is called Debrazet. Unless you pass Debrazet, you cannot reach Nazareth by any means. So as to drive from Addis to Nazareth, you have to pass Debrazet. So when you come to technology, there are blocks that you should pass. Don't jump. Unless you pass that block, you cannot reach to your goal. So uh, what I'm telling you is that don't jump here and there. Make sure to select the areas that fits you. Make sure you be persistent enough to achieve your goal. And then make sure that you know there are challenges. When there is challenge, don't give up. And then work hard to solve that problem and then jump to the next level. Once you pass that, computer science is really the simplest technology, the simplest and potential area that you can be successful. So make sure to select one area and stick with that area, know that area very well, don't close the book, don't close the chapter, open another chapter and learn, and then relate the, 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 the new area with the area that you, 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 are, you are learning. Uh, someone asked, uh, what should I write on my resume if I have zero experience? This is good. And as I mentioned to you, when you take any training, make sure to do a project. When you are taking a training, for example, when you are taking a training from our company, um, YIOB, and we give a project and make sure to add additional project by yourself. That means do the project, submit that project, and then you can reference that project 
into your resume. What companies are looking is whether you know that area, number one, whether you are really did that project or not. Okay, so uh, you can do that. That's, a, that's, a, that's a, the, 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 the second option. The third option is finding other companies uh, giving freelance service. That means you can go to the company, you can give freelance service, you can develop their application, don't expect salary to be paid. And then uh, that is a, a, the biggest thing that you can find. The other one is uh, make sure to uh, identify might be a life-changing project. So uh, as, I, I, as I mentioned to you, uh, doing a project, and then finding areas where you can give uh, free services and also find out the potential areas, even for the country, for the government and for the people right here. And then that way you can be successful and you can, your resume will be uh, growing. Uh, okay, let me couple up these questions. Uh, one is, uh, where is your website? And it relates, uh, is there any way to contact you for advice and help us get hooked up with free courses, job placement, establish, uh, establishing our business CTC? So Good. anything? Great. Okay. Uh, in the first place, um, my site is this, uh, yayobi.com, yayob, uh, yayob.com. And then uh, this one is uh, my company site, it's coming. Um, this is my site. And then, as I mentioned to you, I published more than 20 different, 27 different courses. Uh, for those who cannot afford, as you can see here, uh, this, one is, this one costs only $20 to learn about SQL Server Database Administration, SSIS, as, as you can see here, it's only $20. But for those of you who do not have any, um, if, who do not have money to pay, uh, this is available for, for you for free. Make sure to contact me. Uh, so as to contact me, uh, make sure to go to uh, Yayovi again, and then there is a contact us page. And then my phone number uh, is also available there. This phone number is it. Not only this, I published uh, videos online. And then as you can see here, all these are my videos. You can see here, it's a really uh, a big list of videos that are available for free. Uh, and then many people are using this. And then also I organize these videos in a playlist. As you can see here, you can start from zero, introduction to computer. And then you can grow yourself up to data science, MuleSoft, and Python. And then I already prepared all these videos. As you can see here, these are the videos that you can get. The second, the other one, the other question that is asked is, okay, can we get you? Of course, you can, you can contact me anytime. Uh, unless we open time, we make ourselves available for the other people, uh, we cannot be successful. So I'm available, uh, not only me, but there are also other uh, the, uh, the uh, Ethiopians and also African Americans that, that are available to help you so as to grow. So uh, we need to help. We need to uh, uh, set a time so you can contact me anytime. And then I, it, within 24 hours, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll reach you back if I didn't pick up my phone. Or uh, there is also email address you can contact me, and then uh, I'll be available if I answer your question. Correct. Sure, that's wonderful. And uh, uh, one asked like, uh, do one person should know a little bit of all areas to be, to be best fit to his <laughs> particular area of work? Okay, uh, no, <laughs> that's, a, that's a question. For example, uh, you know, a pilot, I'm right? He's, he's flying uh, an airplane, uh, but he, that pilot doesn't know every detail of the mechanical system of a plane because that is part of the other team's job. So your uh, focus should be the area that, that are really very, uh, um, that fits your, your background. For example, if you wanted to learn uh, data science, you don't need to know about high level complex programming language. You need to learn about how data is stored, how data can be analyzed, and then how can uh, develop a, a predictive model. But these are the, some of the areas. So if you are involved in database, you don't need to know about data science, just develop a database, manage a database and uh, develop a model. So uh, the areas, you don't need to know everything. Even I don't know everything. And even, even other uh, programmers, actually, I'm not, I'm not really uh, that smart, but other smart programmers don't know everything at all. Uh, 
where does API development falls from the areas you showed us? Yeah, the back, the, the, the middle tier. You see the middle tier area in here? The middle tier means the web, mobile, Windows, embedded technology cloud, web API falls in here. So there is a front end, there is a middle tier and the back end. So middle tier is the area. Uh, what areas are available for developing our own business in technology areas after yes. taking short-term courses from your experience? Okay, good. This is good. In the first place, you need to have a website, your own personal website. Then you can focus on content management system. That means you can use either uh, a free WordPress site. The, 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 this is a template that you can develop your own website, and then you can sell your products without knowing any complex programming language. And then the second one is when you have too much money, you can have Adobe Experience Management. This one might cost you too much, but WordPress can do for you. And then after that, if you wanted to develop application, you can uh, combine these three things uh, together. That means the front end, middle tier, and back end, and then you'll be successful. Uh, what programming language is used to program credit card and debit card and to deny purchases. Okay. And the, there is no specific programming language that, that is uh, applicable for this. Uh, any programming language can do that, uh, but make sure to select whichever programming language that you wanna use. Now, the other one is without even knowing any credit card management system in any programming language, you can have uh, the uh, electronic commerce using this content management system. There are WooCommerce, so these are actually plugins that you can uh, inject that plugin and then you can consume. So without knowing any programming language, you can process a credit card, debit card processing management and then, process, and then you can sell products. So using content management system, but you can use any programming language. It can be Python, it can be C Sharp or BB, or it can be Java. Whichever programming language you, you use, if you wanted to customize that and then use, you can use that. Okay. Um... I really appreciate, uh, Mr. Joseph, that you answered all these questions. But last but not least, it seems like a personal one, but uh, let me direct it as it is. What is the meaning behind Iayobe? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> this is really good. Uh, Iayobe is a, a company that's formed by, uh, it was actually formed in 10, almost 10 years before. And then it means uh, YA is uh, two initials of my wife. YO is two initials of myself, Yosef. And uh, previously I had two kids. <laughs> and then uh, Ephraim and uh, Bethlehem, BE stands for that. And I got a new one. So it might be having another one. <laughs> so, <laughs> but this is actually the meaning. Uh, but it, it seems really very simple. And I'm very, I'm very glad that I got this domain name and this uh, license. So YIOB stands for that. Uh, but um, my goal is to help people. So we need to help people. We need to work together so as to grow. That's my goal. Uh, re, exp and, and without expecting any return from the other people. Uh, if you do that, uh, then you'll get the return back. Okay. If you are thinking just, uh, if you are serving people just to get money, uh, you'll not get that money. Uh, you might you might get that money, but after you get that money, you might you might not get satisfaction. But you, if you help without any expectation, you'll get the money and the, the satisfaction as well. Uh, so uh, that's how Yayobi is is doing. Uh, for your information, uh, during this pandemic, I gave uh, nine different courses for more than five hundred uh, people. They were sitting in their home, and then it was for free. And then I gave most of the courses. Uh, so I'm, I'm very glad that uh, the people took that and then uh, uh, they might be switching to the technology and then they may be successful in the future. Um, another one, uh, just curious, did you lecture at any TIT class before? Uh, <laughs> yes. Looks like you yes. gave me one class. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, 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 to tell you very truly, I like uh, by, by the time when I met Dr. Fusa, he's the founder of uh, the uh, BE. And then uh, I mentioned to him, I, I used to be uh, an instructor there when I was uh, doing my full time job at Asia University. I used to be a teacher at AU as well. And then, yes, of course, I, I think I gave you that. <laughs> yeah. I
I think they recognize you well. Um, ex except that I didn't have gray hairs before, and now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, yeah. Okay. I think uh, uh, we have we have uh, uh, we have completed all the addressing all the questions. And um, by the way, you mentioned about giving back, and I like witness about you that you you are one kind and uh, really i appreciate the, the things that you are doing for our community and um god uh, god 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 bless Thank you, you for you. that uh so um is there anything you want to add before we wrap up uh, yourself yeah I, I mean to tell very truly i i thank you as well the, the, uh, because this is a really good opportunity for other people to know the technology, to know the opportunity. So uh, uh, setting up this, this path, setting up this environment is really very good. Uh, in the meantime, for those of you who are taking technology, technology uh, is uh, easy to learn, but challenge to uh, uh, accomplish. So it has a challenge as well. Uh, once you get a job, you'll be really satisfied. For example, during my 15 years of experience, I didn't I haven't worked during weekends. That means I have a family time. So you can get that plane. The second one is the payment. The salary is really very generous. And then you can do even your, your own personal things when you have free time. So this is really the best area you guys need to focus. And then I wanted to thank Black uh, uh, BE uh, preparing this, this uh, uh, opportunity and uh, thank you very much and um, I'm very glad maybe in, in the future uh, we might uh, come back with another another mm -hmm. session thank you. thank you very much sure so great uh, thank you everyone we appreciate you for being here with us today uh, we have the coming next course webinar at the same time on Saturday uh, December 19th we will deal with another topic uh, on sales of stack and local tax. Uh, 